Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Elohim. <laughs> we give you all the praise, mighty God. We bless your name, Jehovah. Mm, thank you, Lord. Oh, my God. Hallelujah, glory to God. You are welcome, family. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. I'm happy to see every one of you. I'm happy to be back. I'm happy. God has helped us. It's been a trying time for me. But God has helped me. And I'm happy to be here again today. I missed every one of you. Thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you for your love. I saw people reach out to me. They wrote to, my, wrote to me and told me to take out some time and rest. I need it. I love you guys. You're just awesome. Thank you. Indeed, you see, when I say you are my family, I'm not joking. The kind of love you guys shower me with. You make me feel good. You make me feel special. You make me feel loved. Thank you. I have had some time to rest. And I thank God for, for his mercy. I thank God for, for his healing. Thank God that we are here again. So now you understand, each time I say that it's a privilege to be here I'm not just saying it is actually a privilege because so many things can happen that will stop us from going live. So many things. So whenever we are alive, it is a privilege to be in the presence of, of the Lord. Whenever such things happen, because you know, I will always try to come. As a matter of fact, yesterday, I was thinking of coming live and I received a message that told me, Please, woman of God, rest. Health is wealth. Can you believe, would you, would you believe that I did not come live yesterday because of that word? I told myself, this is the voice of God. These people love me so much and I should take out time to rest because if I really break down for real, for real, it's going to affect us in the long run. So it's better I rest. Sometimes even when I'm sick, I still try to come on live, but I just heard that as the voice of God and I decided to just rest and we are here again today hallelujah strong powerful mighty i am happy to see every one of you mrs lydia i'm happy to see you timothy woman of god prophetic intercession the junior i'm happy to see you oh i'm glad the psalmist says i was glad when they said let us go into the house of the lord that is how i am happy today I am happy, I am happy, I am happy. I've missed you so much. Uh, Father, let's just go ahead and begin to thank God for his mercy. Let's thank God for his grace. Let's thank God that he has made it possible for us to be here again today, to hallow his name, to sing praises to his name, to fellowship. Whenever you are in the presence of the Lord, you change. That is what I know. That is what I believe in. There is no way you come into the presence of the Lord and you go back the same. Oh, the songwriter says, when I'm in your presence, I change and I can't go back to yesterday again. When I am in your presence, I change, I change. 
I change. Somebody, your change has come today in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone listening to me on that the sound of my voice your change has come today in the mighty name of jesus we just started and i'm already prophesying in the life of someone your change has come today in the mighty name of Jesus. Just go ahead and begin to say, Father, I thank you for this opportunity to be in your presence. I thank you, Lord, for this moment you've given me. I thank you for your grace. I thank you. Say, Lord, I thank you for the opportunity to be in your presence. I do not take it for granted. I worship you, ancient of days. I bow before your throne. I bow before your throne. I bow before your throne. Maka shatala bahai. Eroko sitala baba shantaya. Elene ne mo shintala brahande ko sitala tai. Reko zamalataina. Eleko shikana masupalata. Lord, I give you the praise. A mighty man in battle, I worship. The ancient of days, I worship. The I am that I am, I worship. I bow before your throne. Ayakanama suprahande katalatai. Elene mo shabalata. We are just still worshiping God and I hear the Lord say for somebody, your hair is about to grow again. Your hair is about to grow again. Your hair talks about your glory. Your hair talks talks about your glory somehow you lost it somehow you lost your glory i just heard the lord say your head is about to grow again he is about to give you back that glory you lost he's about to, oh my goodness i i understand i understand thank you lord thank you lord thank you jesus thank you lord thank you jesus thank you lord and it's just in line i just reminded myself that it's even in line with what god was saying for today and he is just going ahead we are just in the moment of worship him and he's just going ahead to release prophetic words he says somebody your glory your hair is about to grow again your hair you had lost your glory something happened and you lost your glory he says your hair is about to grow again hallelujah glory to god father we thank you we give you all the praise yes you are the god that did it for samson and you are about to do it again you are about to do it again in the life of someone you are about to restore the glory of another person. We thank you, Malako Shabalatai. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We give you all the praise because you are the God who says it and does it exactly the way you say you would do it. You are the God who, who, who says it and does it. I thank you, Lord, because you have said you are about to restore the glory of someone and it is and indeed that is about to happen makatala baba shantaya eroko zina malataina erekentele bo supalatai barako talata mandede de bo shataya bakatala mahande oh my goodness this is not a plan. This is not how I planned for things to happen. But God is taking over this live session. There, there is somebody under the sound of my voice. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the living God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the living God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the living God. There is someone under the sound of my voice. You, 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 you have not really known. There was a time when God shone his light upon you. There was a time when God shone his light upon you and you had resources. You were really blessed. You were really blessed, but you did not know how to maximize the blessings of God. You did not know how to maximize the blessings of God. You did not know how to maximize the blessings of God. And something happened, it stopped. You started, you went back to struggling. You went back to a life of struggle. You started believing God for so many things that you could really afford back then. You started believing God for your, for your day to day. You started believing God. 
And God is saying that he passed you through this ayakona mashatai nabaha, elekona masupalatai. He passed you because you have, there is, a, there is a financial grace that is upon you. There is a financial grace that is upon you. There is a financial grace. You are someone that has been destined for greatness financially. You have been destined to be a financial pillar. You have been destined to be a financial mark mountain. But God permitted you to go through this period of dryness so that you can be able to better manage what is coming. Because God introduced you into plenty and you did not know how to manage it. Who am I managed? What is this word for? God introduced you into plenty. You did not know how to manage it. And so he caused a moment of scarcity for you. He caused a moment of scarcity for you because he's about to launch you again into ayakona masu preketa la ba shanta la tai iyama la kosa mala tai god is about to launch you again into another level of your of your financial glory god is about to launch you again into that place but he said he caused this scarcity for now so that when the big chunk starts coming again you are going to know what to do Yes, I am seeing confirmations. He, he's, because when he, when he launches you again, you are going to know what to do. You are going to be able to manage this financial plenty that God is giving you. Mind you, you know, the Bible says that when, when Joseph was interpreting the dream, he said there will be seven years of plenty and seven years of lack. And so God has already tested and seen that if he kept blessing you, you will mismanage the blessing. It is by the mercy of God. God that he stopped you for this while. It is by the mercy of God that you are experiencing this dryness you are experiencing. It is by his mercy because God would have kept on going. God would have kept on going with the blessing and now if you mismanage it and the time of dryness comes, there is nothing you can do about it. But God by his mercy just stopped it for a while so that you could come back to your senses, so that you can redefine your goals, so you would now know what you would do when he starts blessing you. And he says he's about to launch you again into that great chunk. He's about to launch you again into that season of financial overflow. God is about to launch you again into that, oh my goodness, who am I talking to? Who is this prophetic word for? Who is this prophetic word for? Who is this prophetic word for? God is about to launch you again into that season of financial overflow. He's about to launch you again into that season of financial overflow. And I pray for you this time around, you are receiving the wisdom to manage that which God is giving you in the mighty name of Jesus. This time around, you are receiving the wisdom to manage that which God is giving you in the mighty name of Jesus. This time around, you are managing Akala Namasha. God is giving you the wisdom to, to create other source of income in the mighty name of Jesus. God is giving you the wisdom to multiply that which is about to bless you with. in the mighty name of Jesus. God is giving you the wisdom to Ayakona Masha. You will never be small in life. Ah, Elana Masha. You will never be small in life. You will never be small. Your days of dryness and scarcity, they are coming to an end. Your days of dryness and scarcity are coming to an end. You will never be small. Allah katanama. Come on, somebody, go ahead. And when you hear a word that seems like something you are believing God for, go ahead and begin to say, I receive. I decree and I declare upon the life of someone under the sound of my voice. You will never be small in the mighty name of Jesus. You will never be small in the mighty name name of Jesus. Ayatana Mahaya. The oil of greatness is coming upon you. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Zanata. Elekona Mashabalatai. God is making you a financial mark mountain. Elana Kona Masobrahandish. Yamala Kosi Talabahaina this is not the direction of this live session. This is not the direction. But I just love what the Lord is doing. God wants to minister to somebody by himself today. 
God is ministering to someone today. God is ministering. God is restoring your glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is restoring you. God is restoring you. He is taking you back, but this time around in a greater proportion. This time around in a bigger dimension. Come on. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Maketana na masupa latana maha. Iho kata lebre hende koshina na masota na bahai. Zene ne kota lebele ne mo handa ya. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord began to minister to me. He said there are some people. People have risen up against you. They are angry because you have decided to rise up and change your life. You have decided to rise up. You have decided to rise up and do what is not common in your in your atmosphere around you. You have decided to make a change in your life. And the powers that be are not comfortable. They are not happy with the fact that you're trying to make a difference. And they have vowed to stop you on your tracks. The Lord told me they are angry because you have decided to fix the things that have been ruined. You have decided to take it upon yourself. You know, there are some people who have already, you know, they have, they have, Make peace with the fact that nothing great can come out of their family. They have made peace with the fact that marriages do not work in their family. There are some people that have made peace with the fact that in their families, they don't have kids or their children are wayward. There is a particular trend that is happening. And some people have already made peace with that fact. But you have reason not to say that I am not comfortable with this thing that is happening in my life. I am not comfortable with this thing happening in my family. I want to make a change. I want to make a difference. You have made that decision. And the powers that be are not happy. They are angry that you have decided to change your life. They are angry that you have decided to make a difference and they have risen up against you they have risen up against you because you have you have you have decided not to fold your hands and watch your life being ruined mm. Maybe you fell some time ago. You felt so badly. You fell. And right now you have decided to stand up again and, and raise up yourself. And the powers that be, the principalities and powers that be, they want to challenge that. They want to keep you down as long as possible. Oh my goodness. I feel the presence of the Lord in this life session. Thank you so much, Father, for your presence. I feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit. But I am here to tell you, it doesn't matter how much they fight, you will win. You are into this to win. You are in this to win in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what they try to do. They cannot stop you. It is too late. It is too late for them to stop you. It is too late for them to stop you. It is too late for them to stop you. You. The Lord led me to the book of Nehemiah chapter 4. Nehemiah chapter 4. Let me start reading from verse 1. I'm going to, let me read from verse 1. It says, but when Sambala heard that we were rebuilding the wall, he became furious, completely enraged, and he ridiculed the Jews. You know, the walls of Jerusalem were ruined. They were in ruins. And the people that were there were comfortable, were, they were comfortable living in that kind of atmosphere. They were comfortable living there. And Nehemiah had a burden. He had a burden in his heart to rebuild the walls. He had a burden in his heart. And when he decided to come, you know, he was in a faraway land. He was in Babylon. He decided to come back to rebuild the walls. Sambalas and Tobias and the other people that were in the, they were in their they were living in their ruined land they were living in the place where the walls were in ruins and they did not see a problem with that but because nehemiah decided to stand up and fix it the bible says that the uh, 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 sambala became furious he was completely angered 
And he started ridiculing. Like people would say, who, who do you think you are to come and fix this? It might even be uh, in your family. It might even be in your office. I mean, the people that are close to you, they want to challenge and they say, who are you to say you want to fix this? Who are you to say you want to break this record? You want to break the record of poverty in your family. You want to break the record of marriages in your family. You want to break this record. And they say, who are you? Who are you to want to be in that position? They are coming against you to want to ridicule. They are angry. They say, who are you? It cannot be done. It cannot be done. They are asking themselves, are you strong enough? I, 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 let me read. Let me read. Verse 2 says, he spoke before his brothers in the army of Samaria. What are these feeble Jews doing? They are, asked, they are questioning who you are and how you think you can do this. Can they rest? Restore it for themselves. They are asking you, do you think you can restore back your glory? Do you think you can restore the glory of this family? Do you think you can do it? I am here with good news to you. You are not the one restoring the glory of your family. God is restoring the glory of your family in the mighty name of Jesus. God is restoring your glory and that of your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, it is not by power. It is not by mind, but it is by the spirit of the living God. That glory of your family that was lost and your own glory is being restored in the mighty name of Jesus. It is not you restoring your glory. It is the Lord restoring your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. They are asking themselves, can they offer sacrifices? They are asking you, can you sacrifice? Because I tell you the truth truth. There is no rebuilding of a ruined wall. There is no way you will pick up your life from its ruin and rebuild again without sacrificing. You've got to decide to sacrifice. You've got to sacrifice time. You've got to sacrifice energy. You've got to sacrifice resources. And you've even got to lay a sacrifice on the altar of God. And they are asking, will you be able to sacrifice? Will you be able to sacrifice? I pray for you. God is giving you the ability to sacrifice to get to where you're supposed to get to. In the mighty name of Jesus, as you avail yourself, as you sacrifice time and energy, even as you plant seeds to rebuild your ruined walls, that God will honor it in the mighty name of Jesus. God will honor all of your sacrifices for a better life. God will honor your sacrifices Sacrifices for a better life in the mighty name of Jesus. As you continually pour out yourself, as you go out of your way to make things better for yourself, God will honor your sacrifices in the mighty name of Jesus. To those who are having sleepless nights because you are trying to re-strategize how to come back from that pitfall, God will honor your sacrifice in the mighty name of Jesus. God will honor your sacrifice in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who are planning planting seeds on the altar of God, believing him for restoration. Those that are planting seeds on the altar of God, believing him for a better life. I pray that God will honor your sacrifice in the mighty name of Jesus. God will honor your sacrifices in the mighty name of Jesus. God will honor your sacrifices. And they ask, can they offer sacrifices? Yes. Yes, you are going to offer sacrifices and God will honor your sacrifice in the mighty name of Jesus. Can they finish can they finish in a day? Can they revive the stones from the heap of dust and rubbish? Even the ones that have been burned. Yes, you will be able to come down from the ashes. Ah, you will be able to be revived. He says that even, even, even can, can they revive the stones from the heaps of dust? And rubbish. Yes, yes, yes. It doesn't matter how ruined. It doesn't matter how 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 in ruined your life has been. God is raising you back and bringing you back at the top. It doesn't matter if you have been crushed down. As long as you are not destroyed, God is bringing you back up to that place of glory. 
the Lord is bringing you up to that place of glory. You have been crushed, but you have not been destroyed. You were crushed down, but you were not destroyed. God is restoring you back to that place of glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is restoring you to that place of glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, you were crushed down, but yet you were not destroyed. So God is restoring you in the mighty mighty name of Jesus. God is restoring you. And this time around, it is for good. Because they say now, Tobiah the Ammonite was beside him. And he said, even what they are building, if a fox should get up on it, he would break down their stone walls. He's saying that even if you come back, it will not last. Even if you come back, they are, they are saying that even if you, even if God restores you, it will not last. That is what they are trying to say. Even if God restores you, it would not last. But I am here to tell you that it, the restoration of God is permanent in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. As God restores your glory, it is permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. As God restores you to that place where you used to be, as God restores your glory, as you are trying to rebuild and God restores, that, that glory is fortified in the mighty name of Jesus. Marekai shamanata elekutala masupalataina baraka talabrahanda ya. As God restores you, you are not going down again in the mighty name of Jesus. As God restores your glory, nothing will be able to take you down again in the mighty name of Jesus. As you get married to that person, nothing will spoil that relationship in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, because you are getting married again. You are getting married again. And as you get married, nothing will spoil that relationship. No power, no principle quality will be able to spoil that relationship in the mighty name of Jesus. God is restoring your finances and the devourer will not see you again. The devourer will not see you again. In the mighty name of Jesus, the devourer will not see you again. Allah shabalataya. I pray for you. A 24 hour protection, day and night. I assign angels on God. Even as God restores you to your place of glory. Angels on God day and night to protect you in the mighty name of Jesus. Your glory will not be stolen again. Your glory will not be stolen again. As God restores you, I pray all round protection day and night. Angels on assignment. Angels on God to protect you day and night in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you because the Lord said, you remember at the beginning of this life session, one of the first words that God gave was that somebody, he was restoring your glory. He said that your hair is about to grow again. He said your hair is about to grow again. And now, right now, as your hair grows, God is restoring your glory. Nobody will be able to steal it in the mighty name of Jesus. Nobody will be able to steal your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Even as God restores you, he is establishing you in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing will take you down. No one will be able to bring you down. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh my goodness, who am I ministering to this day? Who am I ministering to? Even as God restores your glory, nobody will be able to bring you down in the mighty name of Jesus. I say no one will be able to bring you down in the mighty name of Jesus. No one will be able to bring you down. And your strength will not fail. Your strength will not fail. Your strength will not fail. Even as God is helping you build your marriage, your strength will not fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Ganama shida da baba shata, yana mashata. 
even as God is helping you rebuild your home, your strength will not fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Your strength will not fail in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says that Sambalas and Tobias, they plan to destroy and frustrate the work of the rebuilding of the temple of the of the walls. Their plan was to frustrate the rebuilding of the temples. They plan to attack them while they are building the temple. But the Bible says that their plans were revealed. Their plans were revealed to, to, to Nehemiah so much so that he already prepared himself. He armed men to stand at places to watch over them while they were building. And he said that they were building with one hand and they were holding weapons to fight with another hand. They were prepared. God frustrated the plans of the enemy against their rebuilding. God, I pray for you under the sound of my voice. May God frustrate every plan of the enemy against your lifting. May God frustrate every plan of the enemy against your restoration. I pray that God is frustrating every plan of the enemy against your restoration. God is frustrating every plan of the enemy against your lifting. God is frustrating. God is frustrating every plan of the enemy against your glory restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the ayatalata. God is frustrating their plans. God is frustrating their plans. Hey, God is amalata. I hear the Lord say, and you will win at last. Hey, I just heard the Lord say, and you will win at last. And you will win at last. And you will win at last. Whether they like your face or not, you are getting married. Whether they like your guts or not, God is increasing you financially. Whether they like you or not, your business is exploding. Whether they like you or not, your ministry is gaining relevance. Oh, Malana Mashatai. Whether they like you or not, your ministry is gaining relevance. You are gaining acceptance. Whether they like you or not, you are receiving that, uh, that, that, that contract. Whether they like you or not, that contract is coming for you. Elana Mashataya, it is coming to you. Whether they like you or not, it has gone beyond them. God says, and you will win at last. And you will win at last. And you will win at last. That is the word of the Lord to somebody. And you will win at last. Malena Mashata, I connect every one of you to that word. And you will win at last. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, whether they like you or not, whether they like your face or they don't like your face, whether they like your guts or not, Yanama Shataya, it has gone beyond your control. Now it is your season for restoration. God is restoring your glory. Every root wall of your life is being erected. Every aspect of your life that had been subjected to ruin, God is restoring it in the mighty name of Jesus. Malena Mashata, we, there are so many persons in this life session, but if God is ministering to you right now, you should be feeling it wherever you are, that this today is for me. This word is for me. Connect yourself. Barana Shatai, Iyana Katalabahai, Balane Nemosha. And I pray for you that restoration is permanent. Whatever God is doing in this season, it is permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, yes, it is increased glory. It will just keep increasing from one level of glory to another. They are your enemies who watch you in amazement. Your enemies, those that are standing against you, they are going to watch you in amazement. They are going to watch you in amazement. They did not believe that you could come out of this place. They did not believe they fell. Ayana Mashabalata, the Sami says, Rejoice not my enemies over me when I fall, because God will lift me up again. This is the season where God is lifting you up. This is the season. They rejoiced too early. It was too early for them to celebrate. It was too early for them to celebrate that your life is in ruins. God is lifting you up. God is lifting 
lifting you up. God is lifting you up. He is restoring your ruined walls. God is restoring your ruined walls. Hey, I feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. I feel the anointing of the living God. I feel he is here. He is here. He is here. He is here. Restoring the people that need restoration. Rebuilding the ruined walls of the people that have that, that, that whose lives have been in ruin. God is here to lift you up from that dunk hill. Your restoration is here. Your restoration is here. And God is establishing you. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord is establishing you. This time around, it is permanent. This time around, it is permanent. No power of darkness will be able to rob you of your blessings again. This time around, it is permanent. No power of darkness will be able to take it away from you. This time around, it is permanent. Those, it will not be destroyed. They will not see it again. I said I place angels on God 24 hours. I place angels on guard over your life 24 hours to watch over you day and night, even while you're sleeping. The Bible says, while men slept, the devil, the enemy came and sought us. Even while you are sleeping, your blessings and your restoration is preserved in the name of Jesus. Even while you sleep, what God is doing for you in this season is preserved, is established in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody go ahead and begin to thank the Lord. Somebody go ahead and begin to give him praise. They are angry. They are bitter. But there is nothing they can do about it. They are angry. They are bitter. But it is the set time for your restoration. It is the set time for your restoration. It is the set time. I, I keep seeing. I keep seeing the number nine. I keep seeing the number nine. I don't know if they are just nine people, but unfortunately, my goodness. I don't know if they are just nine people. I keep seeing the number nine. 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 I keep seeing the number nine. I don't know if there are nine persons in this live session that God wants to do that. I don't know. I don't know. But I pray you are one of them in the mighty name of Jesus. I have been seeing the number nine from the beginning of this live session till now. Nine. Nine. Nine, la kata balata, ikalaba shata labaha, mande de de shata. I pray that may you be in the number. 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 You will not be left behind. You will not be left behind. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not be left behind. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody go ahead and begin to thank the Lord for restoration. Thank the Lord for restoration. Thank the Lord for restoration. Thank the Lord for restoration, thank the Lord for restoration somebody. Thank the Lord for restoration. He is doing it. He is doing it for you. And this time around, it is permanent. He is doing it, and this time around, it is permanent. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. People are already planting their seeds, connecting to what God is doing. But as it is my custom, I always give an opportunity. I give you an opportunity right now. If you feel led in your spirit, you want to plant a seed, connecting to these life prayers, connecting to the prophetic words that have been released. You want to just connect yourself Somehow, I give you an opportunity. You want to use PayPal, Cash App, Mobile Money. The information is at the top of your screen on the blue bar. If you want to use Super Chat and Super Sticker, whatever is most convenient for you, you can go ahead and use it. If you want to give an offering or you want to pay your tithe or a donation, whatever that, whatever the case may be. And please, if you are paying your tithe, always indicate, this is my tithe I am paying so that you receive a tithe as prayer. It is very important. That we pray. And the devourer shall be rebuked over your income. The devourer. God is going to rebuke the devourer. Do you know that? Do you know why tithes? He says that when you bring your tithe into the storehouse, he is going to rebuke the devourer 
over your income. He will rebuke the devourer. And today, God was saying, tithing is very important. I don't want, I don't want to, that's not, a, that's not our topic for today. But it is in line with what God is saying. One of the ways that you preserve the blessings God has given you is by tithing. One of the ways you preserve the blessings God has given you is by tithing. Tithing is one of the ways that you can preserve the blessings that God has given you. He says, bring in all the tithes to the storehouse that they might be meat, and I will rebuke the devourer. I will rebuke the devourer. I will rebuke. So one of the ways you are certain that God will rebuke the devourer over your income, over your life, is tithing. It is very important. Very. It's not a topic for today, but I just, because it is in line with what we are saying for today. It is in line. So I decided that I should just tell you that tithing is very important. And please, if you're paying your tithe, always indicate that this is my tithe so that you receive a tithe as prayer. It's very important. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes, tithing is very important. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Two more minutes to those who are planting seeds. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. If this is the first time you're joining our live session, a special welcome to you. Please, if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that whenever we are live or God gives us a prophetic word, you're not going to miss out. If you're yet to give this video a thumbs up, please, we have had more than 100 people here to pray. Please touch the like button, family. Give the video a thumbs up if you're yet to do that. And if you've not subscribed already, please kindly subscribe. And if you are here, you've not made Jesus the Lord of your life. Maybe you were, you just stumbled on this life. Maybe somebody shared and you stumbled on it. You have not made Jesus the Lord of your life. Please. And, you've, and you are led. You feel like you want to make Jesus the Lord of your life. It is a good decision. It is something you should do. You have to be in the family of God. That is where there is protection. That is where there is preservation. Hallelujah. So please repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you today. I acknowledge that I am a sinner and I know that I cannot save myself. Have mercy upon me, O God. Erase my name from the book of death. Write my name to the book of life. Come into my heart. Become my personal Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. If you make that prayer, let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for your son, your daughter, that has come back home. I pray, oh God, may you send your Holy Spirit to dwell, to fill them, to lead them in all truth, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, put a burning desire for you in their hearts, like the deer pants for the waters, so should they continually run after you, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. You are welcome to the family of God. Right now, I urge you to make the word of God a standard for your life. Find a way to study your Bible every day. Read at least one verse of the Bible every day. Pray. Talk to God. He yearns to have a communication with you. Hallelujah. Let's pray for the offerings. Father, we pray for the giving of your people. I Pray, may you bless their giving in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone that has given an offering, a donation, I pray, Lord, may you bless their giving in the mighty name of Jesus. May their bands never run dry in the mighty name of Jesus. And to those who are connecting to the life prayers today, you are connecting for restoration, that God is restoring your glory. Whatever you are connecting to, I bless your PayPal seed. I bless your cash app seed. And I connect you to your seed. And I say, may God honor your faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh my goodness. Somebody just gave a seed and said, my sacrifice. They were asking. One of the questions that Sambalat asked is, is, will they be able to sacrifice? 
Will they be able to sacrifice? I bless your sacrifice in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray, may God honor your sacrifice. May God honor your sacrifice and restore your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I connect you to your sick. Whatever you are connecting for restoration, I connect you to restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus. Those who are giving a thanksgiving offering, I bless your thanksgiving offering and I pray that God will honor his word in your life and restore you like he has said in this season in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray for the tithers, those that have paid their tithes on PayPal, on Cash App, on Superchat. May God bless your tithe in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, just as his word says, may he rebuke the devourer over your income. May he rebuke the devourer over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And may he open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that your bands will not be able to contain in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Let's take our daily declarations together. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. Hallelujah, glory to God. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits in Jesus' mighty name. God is good. I bless your life. I bless your going out and your coming in, in the mighty name of Jesus. I still see people planting seeds on cash up. I bless your cash up seed. I connect you to your seed. May God honor your faith. Whatever you are believing him for, whatever you are planting a seed into, may God honor your faith in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I love you so much, family. I love you guys. You are always in my thoughts. You are always in my prayers. Thank you for your prayers for me. Thank you for your well wishes. I have a family in you. I have a family in you and I'm glad I have a family in you. I love you so much. I will see you in our next live session. Until then, God bless all our first timers. Please do not forget to subscribe if you're yet to do that already. Do not forget to subscribe if you're yet to do that already. Hallelujah. And as you go, if you are blessed by this live session, please, you can share it on your timeline. Share the link on your status. Let somebody just come and pray along and get blessed as well. Hallelujah. I love you, family. I will see you in our next live session. Bye-bye.